Okay, last type of correction is sea level corrections. And unlike the um, corrections na minention natin yung apat, this correction is different. Kasi ito, pagka gumamit ka ng sea level correction, hindi mo na i-apply yung pool, yung sag, yung uh, temperature. Kasi sea level correction is uh, very big compared to corrections na kinumpute natin kanina. Okay? Kasi maliliit lang yung kanina eh. Ito malaki ang correction dito. Ano ba yung sea level correction? O ganito. Ito sa whiteboard. Wala akong formula ang nilagay dito sa presentation kasi I want to derive this para malaman nyo kung saan galing. Okay? So, in surveying, we always have that sea level reference. Okay? Pag sinabi mong sea level, that is the uh, earth. Okay? Yung, uh, I mean, level ng tubig. Okay? Bawa, ito yung earth. Okay. Ah, teka. Laki natin ng konti. Parang nag-drawing natin ako ng ganito. Surveying din ata yun. First ito. Okay. Ayan. So, syempre yung earth may iba-ibang levels. May bundok. Tapos may dagat. Tapos merong island to. Tapos may bundok ulit. So, oh, may body of water dyan, tapos ganyan. Tapos ito yung uh, yung uh, seabed, tapos island. Okay. So, let's say that is the uh, land. Tinapias natin yung earth, ha? Ito natin, uh, siniwan natin yung cross-section ng earth. Tapos, eh, ito yung sea level. Okay? Ito yung level ng dagat. Ayon ang dinescribe ko ata yung elevation. Ito ko ata siya in rowing. Eh, no? At katulad na sabi ko rito, itong tubig level, that is what we call yung elevation zero. Ayan yung reference natin ng elevation. When you say elevation zero, that is the elevation of our sea level. Okay, o yung free water surface ng dagat. Okay, this is elevation zero. Okay? <clears throat> Paano yung sea level correction? Halimbawa, nagsukat ka ng distance dito. Sinukat mo yung distance from dito to dito. Okay? Nag-taping ka dyan at may nakuha kang distance. Okay? Pero, you have to put it down the level of elevation zero. Tama ba? So, halimbawa, ganito. Ano yun? Ang um, daw, hindi ko na-gets yun. Sige, ulit natin. Ito yung center ng earth, ha? Focus tayo dyan. Dun sa may sinukat mo. Yan. Ang nasukat natin dito na distance, kasi yung sea level correction, nag-consider na tayo ng curvature ng earth, eh, kasi malaki na ang distance yung makina na correct natin dito. Let's say this is L. Ito yung measured length. Okay? When we bring it down doon sa sea level, ito, ito yung totoong horizontal distance niya. Okay? This is L prime. Ano nang ina-expect mo? Anong mas mahaba? Yung L o yung L prime? Siyempre, sa geometry, mas malayo ka from the center, mas, mala, mas malaki yung uh, haba nung part na yon ng circle. Okay? Ito yung L, uh, ito yung L prime, this is the uh, length at sea level, ito yung L. Okay? This is the horizontal distance above sea level, and this is the horizontal distance when you are at sea level. Okay? At ito yung kinukuha natin. The horizontal distance when you are at sea level. Kaya, kapag ka kinorek natin to, iikli yan. Okay? Or siguro, kung nagsukat ka ng uh, mesh, kung nagsukat ka horizontally sa ilalim ng dagat, let's say dito, o di kapag uh, dinala mo yan sa sea level, let's say nagsukat ka rito, sa below sea level. Pag uh, dinala mo yan sa sea level, hahaba yan. Okay? So, yun yun. So, dito, involve yung radius ng earth. Okay? So, ito yung radius ng Earth. So, that's R. Okay? At mula naman sa sea level hanggang doon sa elevation kung saan ka nagsukat, that is H. Okay? Kunin natin yung parte na yan. 
mas ayusin natin to. Parang i-end natin, palakihin natin para hindi madaling ma- o para hindi mahirap mag-analyze. Ito yung distance, point to point na sinukat mo when you are above the sea. And nakakuha ka ng measurement na L. Ngayon, gusto mo siyang i-correct at gusto mo siyang sukatin doon sa sea level. Okay? So, nagawin mo, ito yung distance H mo. Ito yung center ng Earth, ito yung radius ng Earth, mean radius ng Earth, yan, ibig sabihin, center ng Earth hanggang sea level. H is your distance mula doon sa sea level hanggang doon sa kung nasa ka nagsukat. Okay. So, anong formula natin dyan? Di ba alam natin na yung arc length, alam kong alam nyo to from solid geometry, from plane geometry, let's see, that's theta. Di ba ang formula ng arc length is r theta. Tama? So, L equals radius ng Earth times theta. Okay? Hala, naku, hindi ko alam yan. Ah, sorry, ano pala? L prime pala. Yan, hindi, ko na, hindi ko na alam yan. Nalimutan ko na yan sa geometry. O, oh, baka hindi ko yung natakil nung high school. Dapat natakil yan. Okay? So, ito namang L. Kung isulat natin yan, arc length L equals radius niya mula dun sa gitna, which is R plus H times theta. Tama ba? And if we write these equations in terms of theta, ito pwede natin sabihin na theta equals L prime over R. Actually, similar figures lang to. Okay? Theta equals L prime over R. Tapos, this equation, we can write that as theta equals L over R plus H. Okay? Ito, paghiwalay natin. Okay. E di equal tong theta. Siyempre, theta equals theta. So, L prime over R equals L over R plus H. Our objective is to bring down that horizontal distance to C level. So, we are solving for L prime. Okay? At ito yung nasukat natin sa taas ng bundok o dun sa kung saan elevation ka manaan doon. Okay? So, um, L prime equals R times L over R plus H. Okay? L prime equals, ilabas natin yung L, R over R plus H. Ito yung formula mo kailangan tandaan. L prime is the corrected length doon sa C level. L is the measured length. At ito yung kailangan mong tandaan na formula. Okay? R is the radius of the Earth. Kung hindi given yan, ito yung uh, default na radius ng Earth. Ito, yung uh, 6372 kilometers. Okay? L prime, tandaan mo, kapag ka na-compute mo yung L prime or the corrected length or the sea level, um, hindi mo siya, o, oh, ano dyan? Hindi mo na ikaw consider yung iba pang corrections. Temperature, pool, sag, wala na yan. Kasi ang laki ng diferensya ng ng uh, sea level correction sa ibang type ng corrections. Malaki to Kilometers kadalasan ang mga units dyan. Okay? So, let's try doon sa isang sample problem. Sa ibang libro, iba ang formula yun. Pero parang kinaros multiply, cross multiply lang and you will still arrive doon sa same formula. Okay, so, ito, solve natin. So, two trekkers, yung mga namumundok, reached the peak of Mount Ulap at 1,846 MASL. MASL, ibig sabihin, meters above sea level. Okay? O, snerge ko pa yan kung ano talaga yung uh, peak ng Mount Ulap. Tapos, nagsukat sila doon sa taas nun. Okay? They wanted to measure the widest dimension of the peak using a tape measure. If they got a measurement of 25 meters, determine the correct horizontal distance considering sea level correction. Mean radius of the Earth is 6372 kilometers. Okay. Hindi ko binura yan. Let's say ito yung uh, Mount Ulap. Ito yung sea level. Okay. Ito yung H nila. Okay. And dito sila nagsukat. 25 meters daw ang nasukat nila. Okay, kukorek lang natin yan. So, syempre, alam nyo na it narrows at as we approaches the uh, center of the earth, 
via measurement na ro. So, expect natin na in 25 meters, hindi ang 25 meters at sea level. Yun ang hahanapin natin, L prime. Okay? Direct substitution na lang. L prime equals L. Radius of Earth is 6372, di ba? Pero gawin natin nakameters ha, kasi nakameters yung H natin eh, 1846 meters above sea level. So, gawin natin 6372 million plus 1846. So, yan. Pinbook na lang. 6372. Pero mukhang maliit lang. Kasi maliit lang yung distance eh. Plus 1846. Ah, maliit lang correction. O, oh, ito yung tamang. O, oh, tamang maliit nga lang. Maliit lang kasi yung distance sa involved. L prime equals 24.9928. Meters. Ito yung length niya on sea level. Malaki yung correction. Kung malaki yung measure na length. Okay? So, yun yun. Ito na yun. Sagot natin. Hindi correction na makocompute mo, kundi yung adjusted length na kaagad. Okay? So, that is correction o sea level correction.